the 60s may be swinging in the rest of London, but in Buckingham Palace, tensions rise as the royal family struggle to keep up with the times. That is what is being promised by this world exclusive for the second series of The Crown, at least, with its first series, Netflix awards laden regal, drama captured the world's imagination as it offered a glimpse into the inner workings of Buckingham and Kensington Palaces during the Second World War. Now the show returns on December 8, with Claire Foy and Matt Smith back as the Queen and Prince Philip, and Vanessa Kirby as Princess Margaret, who becomes embroiled with the photographer Lord Snowden Downton Abbey's Matthew Good in the show's 10-episode run. Writer Peter Morgan, who also wrote the screenplay for The Queen, has again written this new series and Stephen Daldry has returned as director, Matt Smith as Prince Philip and Claire Foy as The Queen. Netflix has given away few clues in the run-up to the series' December release but has published a plot summary beginning with soldiers in Her Majesty's armed forces fighting an illegal war in Egypt and ending with the downfall of her third prime minister, Harold Macmillan after a devastating scandal. The second season bears witness to the end of the Age of Deference and ushers in the revolutionary era of the 1960s. 60s. The streaming service recently confirmed that Olivia Colman would be taking over the role of the Queen for the Crown's third series. Smith's replacement is yet to be announced.